Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy. It is my first solo review. I hope I don't screw it up too bad. But um, today it's the Arctic Air, as seen on TV. It's an evaporative air cooler. Some people may call these swamp coolers. Uh, to be honest, I had never heard of an evaporative air cooler or a swamp cooler before I started reviewing this. I've always lived in humid areas, so evaporated air coolers don't work in humid areas. So I wanted to find out for myself. I had already bought this before I knew that, but I thought this would be a good test to see um, if, it's, if it works or not. If you aren't familiar with evaporative air coolers like, like I wasn't, uh, the best example I found was an example of a natural evaporative cooling is say when we sweat um, and the air absorbs the sweat, it cools our body. And if you ever been in humid areas, you know, when you sweat, it's harder for that sweat to evaporate because there's so much moisture in the air already and it takes you longer to cool off. So that's my understanding. Okay, so how this works is you pour water in here and it goes in, down into a little tray. And the filter sits down in the tray and absorbs the water up into the tray. And there's a fan in the back that blows through the filter, blowing out cold air. So this was $39.99 at Walmart. I've seen them, I've seen them everywhere. I've seen them any place that has as seen on TV products. So let's go over some of the features and then I will show you uh, some of the tests that I did. Okay, it comes with a USB cable and also a wall adapter which I think is nice. So you could use this, you know, anywhere you had a USB port, um, like if you had a, a portable charger or a laptop or something that you could plug that into. So that's nice. We'll try that later and see if it's still as powerful now. All right, the plug is in the back. It is nice, it does come with a pretty long cord. It says to always keep it on a flat surface uh, to prevent it from leaking. I have seen other reviews where people said it leaked, but that's also because they moved it. Don't move it, you won't have a problem. So, I'm not sure. It does not say how much this holds, and I don't see a fill line, so. It's pretty full though. So let me turn it on. If you can see the light here, we'll go over that when we go into a darker room so you can see it better. Here's the fan control. It's on high when you turn it on. And it does say to, after you fill it with water, let it set for three minutes to give the filter time to absorb the water. High, it goes to medium and low. It says the tank of water will last eight hours on low. So the filter is in here and it says to change that every six months or more if it needs it. I will show you the filter later. Okay, I'm going to take it into a dark room so we can check out the different light colors. Set the color. So we're on blue. I set it, if I hold it three for three seconds, two, three, it starts flashing. Then I can set how the brightness is high, so it's low, medium. Hi. If I leave it alone, it will flash. That's how you know it's set. And then you just press it again to find whatever color you want. Okay, one of the tests they showed was a hair dryer test. They said you could blow the hair dryer into the fan and it would still come out cold. That's warm air. Cool. So let's try plugging the USB into All right. Let's see how powerful it is. It seems to work pretty well. Feels exactly the same. Okay, I think the light was pretty cool. I uh, like how it had so many different colors to choose from and you could adjust the brightness. Um, the hair dryer, the hair dryer didn't work at all. Some of these infomercials kind of go crazy with showing how well products work, but that the, the hair dryer thing didn't work at all. 
Um, and the USB, that worked fine. Um, it didn't seem any different than plugging it into the wall. Um, I'll show you a video of a light, what happens when um, the water level is low, if you're not paying attention to the level. When the water level is low, water tank will blink three times every 60 seconds in amber color. When tank is filled again, light will function as normal again. Okay. Some other tests I did, um, the first one, is when I first saw this product, I was pretty excited because um, in the summer when I'm trying to get ready, put on my makeup, I'm doing my hair, I'm sweating. Um, I guess most people would say turn the air down, but my husband claims it's my own fault because I take a hot shower and I make the bathroom really hot. So usually I get out a fan, but I thought this would be nice to use. Um, so here's how that went. From, I probably had it on maybe 15 minutes. Um, the temperature didn't change, it was 75 degrees uh, when I started and 75 degrees when I ended. And But the humidity went from 51% to 55%. And if you live in a humid area, you know that's the last thing you wanna do is add more humidity into the air. Sometimes in the summer, we even run a dehumidifier if it gets too humid inside. So you can see I compared it to a fan. I didn't really see any difference um, from this to the fan. So I was a little disappointed with that. Another place I used it was a room that I work out in. It is 11 by 12. And it even says on the box here, it is a personal space cooler. So don't think it's gonna go cooling off a room because it's really not. So here's how that was. Okay, so I just finished working out. And I started, the temperature was 73 and the humidity was 50. Temperature did not change. Humidity is now up to 60%. I did have them. So there's the thermometer over there is the Arctic air. And once again, the temperature didn't change. You can see it was 73 when I started, 73 when I ended. The humidity did go up quite a bit. It went up 10%. It started at 50 and went up to 60 and I could feel it in the room. It just, everything felt wet. Just, it wasn't good. Uh, so I turned the fan on and the fan, it, it seemed to be the same, but I was sitting in there later. I was doing something on my phone and I had this on and I was like, oh, well, if I was getting a little chilly, I was like, oh, well, maybe it does work better than I thought. But then I turned it off and turned this fan, this little fan on and um, it was exactly the same. And I was probably five feet away, uh, it felt exactly the same. Next thing I wanted to see is it working outside because in the um, commercial they had it out by a pool. Um, I just took it outside. I was hoping the humidity would be higher today. It's 65%. Okay, one last test. I want to try it outside because they showed a lady at the pool. I want to see outside. The humidity is 65%, so I'm thinking it's probably not going to work. Okay, so I have it outside. right up on it to feel it. Okay, let's see if this fan feels any different. The Arctic air is cooler. Like I only feel it there. It's like you have to be right up on top of it to feel. Yes, the Arctic air was a little cooler but not much. And I'm sure once the humidity goes up, you know, 75, 85, 95%, uh, it's not gonna work at all. You had to be right up on it to feel the cool air at all. Okay, it did say to change the filter like every six months. And if you're not gonna use it for a while, to run it without any water for like four hours to dry out the filter. Well, I didn't do that. Um, I probably didn't use it for like a week. Um, and I just, I, I did the water, I didn't do the water, but I didn't dry out the filter. So, um, let me show you that. So you just pull up. Before I show you this, here is the inside. 
inside. And this tray down here is where the water sits in the tray. And then it absorbs to the filter. Let me show you the filter. It's pretty gross. And I thought, is this normal? I was like, I hope this isn't normal. So I know my friend James over at Freaking Reviews did this review a while back and he is in Vegas where it's very dry. So I asked him, I said, can you send me a picture of your filter? And he did. And this is what his looked like. And um, that was like 20 hours of use. This is what mine looked like after about eight hours, nine hours. Uh, it's pretty gross. Um, so if you are in a humid area and you decide, oh, I think this would be good for my office, I would think before you left uh, for the day, I think I would run it for a couple hours to try to, to, try to dry it out. If not, um, it's just gonna become moldy like this one. I even, I tried, I let this set out overnight and it still didn't dry. I had to put it in, I had to run it through here for four hours to get it to dry out, but still. I mean, so you have this mold and stuff and that's probably not good to be blowing around. And it, it smelled, I will say this, this reminds, the smell reminds me of a humidifier. So yeah, I was a little disappointed with this, but like I said, this, I think this is my own fault uh, for not drying it out before not using it. You can get the replacement filters online. I believe they're $10. They are not sold in stores. So my two cents. If you live in a dry area, it might be good for a desk or bathroom, kitchen, something like that. Remember for, to cool you off personally, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cool off a room. Um, in a humid area, um, maybe inside, you know, if you already have air conditioning and you just need it a little cooler, um, maybe, but it's, it's not gonna be much. It's probably not gonna cool you off that much more than a fan. And also make sure you dry out the filter because uh, mine's pretty gross because I didn't do that. I think I'm gonna give it a, I can give it my shirt because I guess it all depends on where you live. So if you have one of these and you used it in a dry area, humid area, uh, let me know in the comments below or if you have you know, made a swamp cooler because um, I've seen a lot of those where you can make your own. Um, let me know how those work. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.